Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today uh, in this video, people have been asking me how am I going to supply Forex data into a Redis instance in the Redis server, which I'm going to use as my backstore for all my Forex data. So in this video, I want to show you a couple of things. Here, we're in Trader Workstation. Hopefully you've seen all my videos for in my playlist at my Interactive Brokers uh, playlist. If you go to my channel, YouTube, slash Quantlabs, you go under the playlist. Hey here. there, how's your trading going? Let me show you some, I'll go find Interactive Brokers playlist, TWS. You'll find all kinds of information how to get that set up. So here we have it set up on my Mac. Now, just so everybody knows, um, I'm using the classic mode of TWS, Trader Workstation, and I'm gonna try to uh, maybe find all the data for US Canadian uh, trading pair or currency pair. All right, so, I always forget to turn this off. Anyways, all right, so we know that we can capture uh, currency pairs from interactive brokers through the TWS. Now here's where it gets interesting. I want you to know that we have a Java test client. Now, and I've shown this numerous times, um, but there's something in there that I want you to be very, very aware of. See here we have the demo of interactive brokers, TWS with Java API with Redis on Apple Mac OS X. This program, because it's done in Java, is right once, deploy anywhere, so it'll work on Linux or uh, Windows as well. This will be my interface to interactive brokers. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm supplying data into my Redis store with this special uh, connection using Jettis, uh, the Java test client, or sorry, Java Redis client, and I've shown this before as well. So look for any of those videos because I'm not gonna repeat that. But in this case, what we're doing in, in this program in Java is that we are going to push Europe, US data into the, uh, into, into uh, Redis. Not only that, I can also push, if I want, the US Canadian as well. Um, so we can, we can do any of these, uh, However, means I've shown this program before. This program source code, the hack version of it, is available for all my Quant Elite members. So uh, remember that. Don't ask me for the source code other than that. So, like, if I run this in my NetBeans, uh, here we have an exception. Connection needs to be reset. Okay, no problem. So let us uh, reset our TWS. This is one of the painful things in Java with TWS, relaunch the, um, and as usual we are using the demo user account, and again I've gone over through this memory many, many times, nothing wrong with the program, it's just an environmental issue, uh, I don't know. Um, is a pain in the ass to deal with. Okay, so now we go into our classic TWS, configure it uh, for the API. We need to make sure we set the enable ActiveX and socket clients. Read only, that's just, you don't need to worry about that. We're not doing any positions, blah, blah. Okay, so if I go in and do US Canadian, you can get I'm not going to worry about that. But this is our data. Now, I should be able to run this, no problem. So it's now running. It is get, capturing all the latest data for the, uh, I believe, US dollar. Um, but also, you can see here, it's pushing Euro, US dollar, the latest data into it, and whatever fields I want. Um, and uh, let me show you that in a terminal. Okay, so here uh, we already obviously know that we are got our Redis server running. Otherwise, it wouldn't connect. I'm gonna quit out of this. So if I load up my Redis client, uh, I could do an L range on US, USD Canadian 
the last 10. So there's our latest tick price, but I need to get more than that. I need to get the close, the open, the high and low. So I'm going to be pushing more info into uh, this database with that corrected uh, Java code. So if I do another L range on the, let's make it sure here I got it right, e, uh, EUR USD. I'm going to do that too. So that was ERU, Euro, and the U US dollar. So there we go. We can capture all that latest information on that currency pair. So that's how it works. Uh, that this is how I'll be supplying data into my Redis instance uh, and then capturing that code. Because now what I can do is, um, for those that may not know, if you do a Google search, and I've shown this throughout my Yahoo, uh, sorry, my uh, Python algo trading course, is if you do um, uh, Redis. Actually, I'm just going to the website here. Redis um, clients. You just come under here under Redis clients. Pick off your Python. This is the client that you want. Uh, the one I'm using is this one, the Redis Pi. And uh, it's a GitHub, so you can use that for sure. So let me show you some demos of that. So, um, and I've shown this before in. Uh, so if I load in my Python interpreter, come down here uh, for my, so just go into this uh, code here to gap, capture this uh, Python Redis client. You'll be able to um, capture the code and uh, use the uh, example code that you find here. So once you load up your Python interpreter, do an import on your Redis. I'll probably just type it up. Oh, actually, no. I like to be lazy. Boom. Do an R set as an example. And then we do it R get. So that's how uh, within Python we'll get our code, or sorry, our data out of Redis from the Python side. And uh, the way it's looking, I'm going to have two types of uh, programs or scripts. One for the a slower uh, time frequencies, probably done in uh, Python due to the convenience of it. And for higher frequencies, obviously I'll use C++. So that's the direction I'm going in. And uh, Right now, this is how we do our repository or backstore for Forex data using the interactive brokers demo mode and the various uh, pairs that they support using this program here, uh, which I call the interactive brokers uh, uh, test Java client. And these are all the different pairs that you can get. So you can get um, Euro Canadian, Swiss franc, uh, British pound, I think this is the uh, Israeli. Uh, and then again as well, among others. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it, and that's how I'm going to plan to do it, and it works. And I uh, just want to show that to everybody. Have a good day.